The Netherlands is known everywhere as a land of windmills, canals and tulips, and today's visitors certainly will find these among its many tourist attractions. But along with the country's many breathtaking gardens and picturesque villages, those sightseeing here will also find the vibrant cities like Amsterdam filled with museums showcasing a rich heritage of artists. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in the Netherlands. And just wait till you see the number three that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Now before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10, Cathedral Square, Utrecht. A popular tourist destination for its many fine historic buildings, the Dutch city of Utrecht should definitely be included on your Netherlands travel itinerary. Start your exploration of this pedestrian-friendly city in Cathedral Square. The Domplein, as it's known locally, is the site of St. Martin's Cathedral, or Dom Church. Although founded in 1254, much of what you see dates from the 14th and 15th centuries. You'll also want to visit the Domteren, a surviving standalone church tower built in the 1300s that rises high above the surrounding buildings. Be sure to make the climb up to the viewing platforms for its superb views over Utrecht. Although there are 465 steps to climb, phew! The guided tour that comes with the climb is an excellent introduction to the city's rich history, and I'm sure they don't get out of breath like we do. At 9, De Hoge Velour National Park. You may be surprised to learn that the Netherlands, a relatively small country, boasts one of the world's most diverse national park programs. The largest is De Hoge Velour National Park, between Arnhem and Apeldoorn, rightly considered one of the best places to visit in the Netherlands for outdoor enthusiasts. Covering nearly 13,800 acres, this national park is the largest continuous nature reserve in the country as well as being one of the most popular day trip destinations for locals and visitors alike. Featuring dense woodlands in the north as well as fascinating sculpture park, the area was once a country estate and hunting reserve and to this day is home to many red and roe deer. The best preserved part of the park encompasses an area of dramatic dunes interspersed with heath and woodland and interrupted in the south and east by moraines up to 100 meters high. It's also a popular area for bird watching as well as hiking and biking. The highlight of this beautiful park for many and the reason many people choose to come here is the outstanding Kroller Müller Museum, housing the world's second largest collection of works by Van Gogh. In addition, the collections include Impressionist and Expressionist paintings by Cézanne, Manet, Monet and Renoir. Outdoors, one of Europe's largest sculpture gardens shows works by Rodin, Hepworth, Dubuffet and others. At 8, the Windmills of Kinderdijk. On the river Nord between Rotterdam and Dordrecht is the famous village of Kinderdijk which takes its name from an incident during the St. Elizabeth's Day flood of 1421 after a child's cradle had been stranded on the dike. The big draw these days are the fantastically preserved 18th century windmills. Now UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the 19 Kinderdijk windmills built between 1722 and 1761 are the largest surviving concentration of windmills in the Netherlands. Originally used to drain the Fenlands, these majestic buildings with their impressive 92-foot sails are open to the public from April to October, including special mill days when the sails are set in motion. These picturesque windmills make for a fun excursion for those based in Rotterdam during their Netherlands stay. At 7, it's the Van Gogh Museum, Amsterdam. As befits one of the world's greatest artists, the spectacular Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam is ranked an impressive number two in a leading list of the top art museums globally, attracting almost 1.5 million visitors each year. Home to the world's largest collection of Van Gogh paintings, many donated by the artist's family, this impressive gallery and museum was specially built to showcase the more than 200 paintings, 500 drawings and 700 letters in its vast collection. Works by his contemporaries are also on display. A highlight is participating in the museum's new Meet Vincent van Gogh experience, which offers a fascinating, high-tech, interactive look at the artist's life and times, as well as his best-known work. 
If the city's excellent museums are your priority, you may in fact want to consider visiting them off-season during the quieter, cooler times of year. Given that both these popular attractions are indoors and easy to get to via the city's excellent public transit, it's easy to keep warm and the city's climate is relatively mild, even in winter. And now at 6, Oudhaven, Rotterdam. Located an easy one-hour train ride from Amsterdam, the port city of Rotterdam is well worth visiting for its well-preserved Old Harbour, or Oudhaven. The city has a long and rich maritime history, thanks large to its location on the newer Maas, an arm of the Rhine River, and its proximity to the English Channel. Part of Rotterdam's superb maritime district, Oudhaven is ideal for those who enjoy seeing the sights on foot. The harbour is chock full of old houseboats and sailing ships, many of them on display at the Maritime Museum Rotterdam. In addition to the 20 or so historic vessels on display in the water, a variety of indoor displays can also be enjoyed, including a replica of a vessel dating back over 2,000 years. At 5, Anne Frank House, Amsterdam. The Anne Frank House is a must-see when in Amsterdam. On Prinsengracht, in the home where Anne's family hid for much of World War II, is where this remarkable girl wrote her famous diary. Although she died just two months before the war ended, her legacy lives on through her words, which have since been translated into 51 languages. The back of the fully restored house where the Frank family had their hiding place has been kept in its original state as much as possible and is a poignant monument to a tragic slice of world history and a brave young woman who continues to inspire people around the globe. A word of caution, tickets for this must-see attraction do sell out, so be sure to reserve yours online well ahead of time. And if you're visiting in warmer weather, spring and summer are widely considered some of the best times to visit Amsterdam. Be sure to allow time to explore the surrounding area with its charming old canals on foot. At 4. Historic Binnenhof, The Hague Known the world over as the location of the International Court of Justice, The Hague is also the political centre of the Netherlands. It's here the country's government does their work, and where you'll find the home of the Dutch royal family in Noordender Palace. The Hague also makes for an excellent travel destination for visitors wanting to get a taste of the country's rich history. Whether you're staying here for a few days or visiting as a day trip from Amsterdam, start your exploration in the city's historic Binnenhof district. Literally translated as the Inner Court, the Binnenhof dates back as far as 1250 CE. It's the oldest part of the city and a delight to explore on foot. Set around a central courtyard, the attractive older buildings here once housed the country's ruling classes and have been remarkably well preserved. The crown jewel here is the Knight's Hall. Built in the 13th century, this imposing castle-like building with its twin towers is still in use for government events, including the opening of Parliament every September. Highlights include the Gothic Hall with its stained glass windows and wood-beamed ceiling. At 3, Rijksmuseum Amsterdam. The spectacular Rijksmuseum, also known as the National Museum, in Amsterdam's Museum Plain, has been collecting rare art and antiquities since 1809. Not surprisingly, its extensive collection today amounts to nearly 7 million works of art, including 5,000 paintings in more than 250 rooms, as well as a vast library with some 35,000 books. Apart from its unique collection of old masters, this spectacular museum offers an exhaustive account of the development of art and culture in the Netherlands and is especially rich in traditional Dutch handicrafts, medieval sculpture and modern art. Be prepared to spend the best part of a day or longer exploring this museum's endless treasures. If you've time to squeeze a little more Rembrandt into your Amsterdam travel itinerary, here's a must-visit for you. The Rembrandt House Museum located in the city's historic Jewish Quarter. Many of his best-known works were painted during the 20 years the great artists spent here, with some still recognisable scenes from the neighbourhood. The house remains much as it would have been during Rembrandt's life. You can enhance your experience by booking a stay close by at Luxury Suites Amsterdam, located just steps away from the museum and one of the best places to stay in Amsterdam for those who enjoy luxury accommodations. At 2. Kuchenhof. 
Think of the Netherlands and you'll inevitably think of tulips, the country's most popular flower. And one of the most beautiful places to visit in the Netherlands showcases these and other spring bulbs in spectacular abundance. Given its handy location relative to Amsterdam, it's a 45 minute drive away or just under an hour by public transit, it makes for a fun and easy day trip from the country's largest city. Kuchenhof, otherwise known as the Garden of Europe, is located on the outskirts of the town of Lisse and what's widely considered the bulb belt of the Netherlands. The largest public garden in the world, it boasts more than 70 acres of what was once the former kitchen garden of a large country estate. Kuchenhof displays more than 700 varieties of tulips, which are at their height in April and May. But thanks to its massive commercial hothouses, the display continues almost year-round. In these, you'll see endless rows of flowering tulips, along with thousands of hyacinths, crocuses and daffodils. And finally, at number one, Jordan and Amsterdam's canals. Canals are as important a part of Amsterdam's cityscape as they are to the city of Venice, and some of the most enduring memories for any visitor are the time spent exploring the city's wonderful waterways. While many of Amsterdam's best tourist attractions can easily be accessed by boat tour or water taxi, including most of the major museums and art galleries, nothing beats strolling along the smaller, quieter streets that line the waterways. Particularly charming is the Jordaan, a neighbourhood built in the early 1600s to house workers and immigrants drawn here for the city's religious tolerance. Along with its small canal-side houses, look for the neighbourhood's many hofjes, the quaint inner courtyards hidden behind the buildings. Another photo-worthy neighbourhood is the Grachtenkordel, with its many small bridges and quaint 17th-century homes. You'll be rewarded as you explore these 400-year-old streets with examples of beautiful architecture, small boutique shops, cafes and gardens. Be sure to look out for the many houseboats moored along the canals. Just a 10-minute stroll away is Dam Square, a must-visit when in Amsterdam. In addition to its numerous restaurants, cafes and shops, this vast public square is home to some of the city's most visited tourist attractions. These include the spectacular Royal Palace, the attractive New Church and the country's most important war memorial, the National Memorial Statue. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in the Netherlands. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.